what I'll use on this particular video is the empty function just as a simple way of checking to make sure that there is data in the required text boxes that I want to set up. So what I'll do on the first part of this is just graphically make it look like something's going to need to be required. And so what I'll do after the first name here is I'll go ahead and put in an asterisk and usually they're red. So what I'll use is a simple font tag and we'll just say color is red, color equals red put in the asterisk and then close out this font tag and that's just some basic HTML tags here to use. I'll go ahead and copy that and I'm going to paste that here in my last name. So it's just an opening font tag. There's a red or there's a color attribute that we're setting as red. We close the opening part of that tag, we put in the asterisk and then we close the font section all together. If I save it and refresh it, you'll see that there's two red asterisks in there. So we're going to make first name and we're going to make last name both required fields. And So what I'm going to do over here in my code for the PHP is I'll just get rid of those echo statements and what I'll do on this particular one is we're going to test to see if it's empty meaning if it's empty then they never entered anything in there and so what I'll do is it's called a nested if statement. I'm going to put an if statement within this if statement here. So I've got right now if the post button has been submitted then the code that's between this opening curly brace and this ending curly brace will execute. So when that happens and the submit button has been pressed, we're going to check to see if the first name had anything in it. So what I'll do by that one is just type in another if statement here within the code. And the if statement is going to require the opening and closing curly brace. Now within this one are opening and closing parentheses. It will also have the opening and closing curly brace here in a minute. But within the parentheses, what I'm going to need to do, and similar to what we have in line 6, is type in a function. So I'm going to use the empty function, empty, and I need to have the opening and closing parentheses for this function as well. So I need to add those in there. And what are we going to test for being empty? Well, we're going to test to see if the first name post information for first name is empty. And if it is, it means they didn't enter anything into it. So what I'll need to type in here is the dollar sign underscore post and then we're going to go ahead and put within the array brackets there the square brackets and within those single quotes we're going to need to put in there the f name that's the one I want to check to see if it's empty meaning if it is empty if that returns back empty that means they didn't have anything in there so what I'll do is have an opening curly brace I'll space down a little bit put a closing curly brace there we go opening and closing curly brace so the code that we'll type in here is as a result of the first name not having anything in it. So I'll just go ahead and just echo out a statement that says first name is required. And then I'll go ahead and indicate to them that the first name is required. They should have entered something into it. So I can do the exact same thing. In fact, I can copy and paste my code. I'll just copy that code and then paste it down here a little bit further and so that I will also check the L name. So I'll go ahead and reuse that and type in L name for last name and just change this to last name rather than first name. So let's go ahead and do that. Last name is required. I'll go ahead and hit save and let's go ahead and look at our form. This is a form and I've refreshed it. There has not had the submit button or the go button pressed yet on this particular form. So you can see that there's nothing here and when I refresh the page it doesn't have to resend any information because it doesn't pull anything from the post. So let's go ahead and just ignore the first name. I'll type in last name and I'll just type in this is some info. I'll hit go and you'll see what ends up happening is the first name is required text will appear in here meaning that the submit button had been pressed so it came over here and since it had been set it's going to go ahead and execute the code here for line 7. Line 7 checks to see if the first name was set and it or is empty, I'm sorry, and it is empty so it's going to echo out this first name is required. Then it's going to go down through my code and check to see if last name had anything or if it was empty. Last name was not empty so it did not echo out the last name is required. So this is kind of just a simple way of setting up something to, to put in there for required fields within your forms on PHP.